I don't want to upset you, but <laughs> Albert was a bit of a lad in those days, you know? <laughs> he could sing, he could dance, he could play the piano, and the women liked him. And he liked the women. <laughs> and during our stay here, <laughs> how shall I put it, he kept himself busy. <laughs> I don't believe him. The garrety old git. Oh, too sweet. <laughs> well, it was every man for himself in those days. I mean, there was a war on. They were hard times, and everybody just grabbed whatever bit of pleasure they could. <laughs> Most of the men were either away fighting or locked up. And when they got to hear about Albert's shenanigans, they weren't best pleased, which was understandable under the circumstances. So, who grasped you up? The French resistance. <laughs> One day, the SS just turned up and rounded us all up. And would you believe it? Albert, with one or two others, escaped and made it back to Blady. <laughs> Excuse me, just go to the gents. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. It's another one, look. Good God, it's like a geriatric village of the damned. I don't know about St. Clair La Chapelle. They should have renamed this place Trottersville. <laughs> what do you think of all the other countries he's visited and what he must have got up to? I mean, America, India? I bet he, he didn't even leave Australia alone, did he? Africa, Middle East. Do you remember that woman he mentioned? He's been putting it about all over the place. Raquel was wrong. It wasn't like Captain Corelli's mandolin. It was more like Captain Birdseye's banjo. 